I'd share with you, and I hope I can get my face in this. I thought I'd share with you how I get my paintings ready um, to paint on. So I've got one layer, one or two layers of prime this. This is a canvas on a wood panel. And it's got a lot of texture on it just because the canvas has come through. But it's been primed with acrylic. And then I put one thin coat of oil paint on it. And now I'm going to put on another thick coat of oil paint. So I thought I'd share with you how I do that in case it's um, something that you can learn from or do. So um, I mix up, I have a whole bunch of oil paint. I use titanium white and a little bit, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to create a, a very beautiful um, pale white yellow. And I'm going to use a um, little bit of titanium white, a little bit of cadmium yellow white, and, or tat, uh, titanium white, cadmium yellow white, and yellow ochre. So let me put a little bit of those in this. I have a lot of paint in this bucket, so I'm going to uh, just put a little bit in here. I just kind of want to make it not perfectly white. But I'm not really going by a recipe, as you can see. Now, I also like to add a little cold wax. This is Dorland's cold wax. softens it. Again, there's no recipe here, but I'm just adding some of this to the paint. The reason it's blue is because I have blue on a paintbrush and got in it. It doesn't matter. This is just under the painting. I'm just trying to create a rich surface. The reason I like to add a little wax to my paint is that it makes my paint a little softer. I like to scratch into it and, and it goes on, it smooths out really nicely. Use a, uh, a drill. This is a brand new one. It's getting all covered with paint. It's kind of depressing. But my other one got thrown away um, by accident, I think. But anyway, so I'm going to mix this all together. on. This is a, I uh, forget the brand, we sell these, uh, but you can use any trowel. I like these the best. You can get these on our Art to Life store. Um, the reason I'm saying that is they're hard to find. Um, uh, and we buy them. They're from Italy. What's the name of this trowel? Do you remember? Okay, don't worry. That's all right. Anyway, you can check it out um, on the Art to Life store. This is the big one we use, sell, and it's great for big paint. Now, this is how I like to just put the paint on. Now, you see I'm making the painting black, so all this paint can fill in all that rough texture. And that wax is going to smooth it out. If it looks fun, it really is.
seven feet by seven feet is a square rectangle. Or maybe it's six feet. Maybe it's six feet. I don't lose any of the paint by dripping off because I'm doing this black. So it's actually a really good way to do it. So that's ready to go. Um, that's, I just let that dry now. It's really warm here in California, so this will dry pretty quick, you know, in a day or two. Let me flip this around. Hey, you guys. Um, Hey, Scarlett. So, yeah, so I'm not using gesso. This is oil paint um, that I've got on here. Uh, it's oil paint, and I added a little bit of wax. You can watch this from the beginning once that we post it. Um, and it's, it's not a board. It's canvas wrapped on a board. Um, so it's hard to see, but there's you can see kind of the canvas in there. Um, but what I'm doing now is almost all my paintings are on canvas so here's one that is 
So here's the side of this, this painting here. Um, this is canvas. You can see wrapped around and stapled. So that's how we're doing it. Um, yeah, so cool. Um, hey Trish, nice to see you. Um, just scrolling through here, see so if you guys have any questions. Um, the reason Joanna, that's a good question. She's saying, why is it blue? So it's sort of random. It's more the value of the color. This is gonna be probably a light painting, but I like to have dark colors underneath. So when I scratch through, you can see it, right? So if you think about it, that's all you really need to know. If you're gonna, if it's a light painting and you make a scratch, if it's light underneath, you won't see it. But if it's dark underneath, that blue, I'll be scratching down to that. So that's what I tend to do. I tend to, if I'm gonna make a really dark painting, I'll start with really light paint, but that's all I know. And then sometimes the light painting becomes a dark painting anyway. Um, okay, cool. Um, yeah, it was just random. I just, I had blue paint. <laughs> it wasn't any, it, it wasn't anything. Yeah, so the wood frames, um, we uh, have them built um, to the size that I want them. Um, and they're a bit fatter, you know, uh, these, these are um, not standard size. Like this is a lot thinner here compared to this. This is like two and a half or something. But because the painting's so big, um, rel rel relatively, it doesn't look that, you know, if it's really thin like a smaller painting, it looks too skimpy, I think. So I, it looks, from here, it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look like that big painting is very thick on the side, but actually it is, it's just that it's so big, so. Um, uh, so the reason I use oil um, is because I put uh, cold wax in it and I like to get that, I like the quality of the oil paint with the cold wax. Now, if it's the smaller paintings, I use acrylic, which I can love, they're really similar, but for these larger ones, that's what I'm using oil pastels and oil sticks. See you later, AJ. And, um, and so uh, that's just kind of what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, Joanna, I did. I used gesso first um, just because I had some and it's, so I just kind of sealed it. I sealed the canvas with gesso first, yeah. So, um, and no, it's not a floating frame, it's no. Um, Cool, okay. Yeah, so this, I don't think this is very long, but I realize I don't ever really have shown this. So I might do another coat after this dries. And so then there'll be four on it and it really gets good. And then I use the paint really thick. So like on this painting, you can see, this is what I'm working on right now. It's, it's just really, like there's no canvas on this. This is on canvas, you know, and you can't, it doesn't, look like it's on canvas. It looks like it's on a board or something because the paint builds up and it's really thick. And, you know, so I, I don't want to have the canvas. I just personally don't like the canvas, the look of the canvas, but that's, it's more personal, you know. Um, Anita, hi. Uh, cool, Elizabeth, I'm glad this was, if this is helpful. That's great. That's, that's good. That's kind of what's fun about seeing whatever what other people are doing you know um so anyway i hope you guys uh can come this wednesday to the kitchen table art project i just filmed the vlog that's going to introduce the idea the idea is going to be on um using anything but a paintbrush so using other tools besides a paintbrush so it's going to be kind of fun see you later uh so so that'll be cool and um, yeah, that's, that's about it. This is kind of what I'm working on. This, I'm excited about that little yellow painting. Um, but this one, I really like this one. Um, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing, the yellow one to be like that one. You know how you get a painting and it's like, oh, I really like this. I want to do more like it. So that's what I'm trying to do is that yellow one next to it. Um, and then this one that's, that's going to be here, I've got that one I'm working on, and then I've got this one right there that I'll be working on as well. So I got some good stuff all ready to go. So hope you guys have a great weekend, and um, 
yeah, stay connected and hopefully see you um, on Wednesday. We've got three really cool guests, you guys. Um, we've been really scoring it with getting good people to come on these kitchen table art project things. I think people aren't so busy yet, so they're willing to do this. So we're, we're really fortunate taking advantage of this time. So, okay, you guys, hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.